April, April favorites video for you guys. Um, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I am finally like 99% <coughs> over being sick. I still have a little bit of a cough and I have to constantly keep clearing my throat because disgusting TMI, it keeps filling up with nasties. I won't go into details. Um, and I did work, I have worked eight days in a row and I finally have today and tomorrow off. So I have not had the chance to record a video for you guys. So I'm really, really sorry. So here are my monthly favorites. Um, first, the only thing that I have that is not a beauty product is the Cheers to Capri Bath and Body Works candle that looks like this. It's in the flavor Lemon Cello. Um, it just says for flavor, it's, um... Inspired by Italy's beloved drink, Limoncello, with its notes of Sorrento lemons, cane sugar, and a hint of lemon zest. Ah, Amaze Balls. Okay, this is going to be my all-time most favorite, favorite candle ever in the whole world, so I'm going to have to go buy like 30 of them so that I can have them forever. Okay, not forever. These don't last very long in my opinion. I've burned half of it, and that was one burning. So, I mean, when half of it disappears and I've only burned it once, <coughs> makes me sad okay maybe twice maybe I burned it twice I don't know but that is a monthly favorite I haven't lit any other candles just this one I always forget that I have candles and I forget to light them okay the first thing that I want to get into for you guys is the um the eyeliner that I have been wearing for pretty much an entire month only on my um upper part of my lid so <coughs> it is it's a liquid pencil liner, not pencil, it's felt tip. Is that what you call it, felt tip? It's a liquid felt tip liner, and it is by Jessie's Girl. It is, um, I think they only have one color, and it's just black. Um, but the packaging is this gorgeous, like, silvery color. I said silvery, that's not even a word. Silver, okay, excuse me. I know it's a pet peeve of mine. Um, it just says... Is this upside down? No, it's okay. It's hard to see. It just says Jessie's Girl. And then um, the cap comes off and it's just a felt tip. Okay. I have to make everything quick because I have a lot of favorites. I just want to show you guys. I put two lines on my hand, okay? Wow, I did it in a bad spot. This top one is the Jessie Girls. And this bottom one is actually actually the Lorac front of the line pro liner and again the bottom one is Lorac the top one is the Jessie's girl as you guys can see there's really no difference the Lorac is just slightly darker but I think because the Lorac is like a black black and the like very black or something and then the Jessie's girl is just black and they both come off the same exact way, and they both, <clears throat> I would say, the Jessie's Girl has more of a paintbrush tip, which is on the right-hand side, and the Lorac Pro has a, just a tip, like, it's not a paintbrush, it doesn't separate, it's just one straight point, um, I want to say how thankful I am that Rite Aid had the Jessie Girls pencil. This usually retails at Rite Aid for $6.99, and they had it in their clearance section for $1.74, and I was like, you can't go wrong. I might as well give it a try. For $1.74, I mean, who cares, right? Okay, my Lorac Pro Liner, I believe runs, it's either $24 or $28 for this, and I got the Jessie Girls for $1.74. I have literally worn the Jessie Girls every single day for I don't even know how long. However long I have had it. And it's... <coughs> I know it's been at least three weeks since I've gotten it. Maybe two. I don't know. Somewhere in that area. But that is long enough for me to tell you that this is my favorite. The fact that I, even if they don't have these on clearance in their full price, the fact that I only have to pay $7 for this and I don't have to pay $28 for this one anymore makes me so freaking happy. You have no idea. And this Lorac has been my favorite. I have been using it for like 
God, when did I get the Pro Palette? I got this with the Pro Palette when I bought the Pro Palette. And I have been using this like nonstop, probably for at least six months-ish. So I'm excited that I found one that's way cheaper and does the same exact thing. And I honestly, in my honest, honest opinion, I think the Jessie Girls one lasts me longer. The Lorac, I touch my eyes a lot. And like I do it like in the middle a lot. And I find that the Lorac in the middle of my eye disappears and it looks really really bad so I usually have to carry one of these on me just to like touch up later because I touch my eyes so much. I have never had to carry the Jessie Girls with me or touch it up after working for nine hours because I work nine hour shifts every day. This Jessie Girls liquid eyeliner is the shiz I'm not gonna lie. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of their products that I don't care for, but their liquid eyeliner pencil is on point. So excited. I just spent far too much time on that, so I will make this one quick. This was featured in a haul and my last month's monthly favorites. This is the Pop Art Brush Collection from BH Cosmetics, and all of my brushes are dirty because I use all of them. Um, still my favorite. Um, I have not used any other brushes since I have gotten this. So for two months now, I have been using nothing but the Pop Art brushes by BH Cosmetics. And these are, I think they actually regular price is $25. But if you just keep watching, you will get them on like one hell of a sale. Um, they do have a Mother's Day sale going on right now, I believe, for some goodies and some good stuff. So <clears throat> can't go wrong with this. And my favorite thing is that it snaps. And the brushes do not fall out and it's travel friendly. It sits flat on a countertop. So if you have to bring this with you and use it, it'll sit right there and hold all of your brushes. I love this. I can't get enough of it. Okay. Okay. The next item, and these are in such random order. This is the Natural Nude Physicians Formula. Um, <clears throat> I don't even know how what to say. It's... You can use it for bronzer, highlight, eyeshadow. Um, it says basically you can use it for everything on your face. Eyeliner too was one of them. Um, I have used it as a bronzer, a highlighter, an eyeshadow, and I love using it as an eyeshadow. It's beautiful. And um, the packaging is adorable. It's, I think, I want to call this like their custom... Oh, custom eyeshadow, customize palette? I don't know. But um, these are the colors. I swatched a few for you guys. Like, I'll just show you guys real quick. They're very pigmented. They're very creamy. They're very soft. I'm wearing this as a highlighter today. I have um, used this as a highlighter every single day, just like right here on my face um, for over a month now. The back does come with a mirror. I love this. And then it gives you some little pointers here and it also comes with a little brush that I don't use for this because I use the highlighter. I don't know. I'm moving right along. <coughs> the next product is the Powder Palette Multicolored Light Bronzer by Physicians Formula. Um, it looks like this. I've used this every single day. I use this every single day. And when I run out, I'm going to cry because I love this. And I actually use this as a setting powder um, over my foundation. And it gives me this... I got makeup. I've been makeup testing. It gives me this, like, really nice all-around glow. Oh, my God, my fingers look crooked. I dropped my motorcycle in the driveway a couple days ago. Um... I put the kickstand down in my driveway is gravel and it sunk right down into the gravel and I tried to catch it and I kind of think I might have broke these two fingers because they hurt really really bad and um, my nails underneath them like hurt super super bad too and my whole arm is just like killing me from trying to catch it. I forget that a human being can't really catch 400 pounds of dead weight without getting injured. Um, I've been through this before. I hate how you have reactions. But anyway, so this this powder I use um, for an all-around glow. I put it all over my face and um, it gives me this really smooth, flawless look and it gives me like a little pop of a tan. So I really like it. 
Um, again, this is in the shade Light Bronzer. And this, this flips up, and there's also a mirror, and you get this little brush. But I did not use this brush because I use a full face powder brush to apply this. So... <clears throat> Out of everything this month, this is my most, most, most favorite, and I don't think I've ever found a powder, like, I would never spend this much on a powder, but I will spend this much on a powder now that I know how good it works. Moving right along, I have a lot of lip products, and I don't even want to get into it because there's a lot. Last month, um, my monthly favorite for foundation was the Rimmel London Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation. Again, here it is. This is in the color 200 Soft Beige. This is the one that I wear. Um, I am wearing it today. I wear it every day. This is very hydrating. Um, I know they say that to keep your skin looking young, you want to have SPF in your makeup. However, I need a tan, guys, and um, I'm not getting any younger anyway. And for some reason, a tan actually makes me look younger. But... <clears throat> This does not have SPF in it, which I absolutely love. So, like, when I go to work, I wear this. If I'm not going to go to work and I'm going to be out in the sun, I wear something, like, S with SPF in it. Because at work, I'm in and out of the sun all day. So, it's like I'm getting little bits of it here and there at a time. Um, it's, to me, this is very full coverage. Um, I don't feel like I'm wearing anything on my face at all. Um, it does say naturally flawless, hydrating, and lightweight feel, which it's all true, so I can't say it's not. I am going to be a repeat buyer of this. I've used quite a bit of it. There's probably maybe half of a container left, and I've had this now for over a month, so it's lasted me a good long while. Um, I actually prefer this now better over the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation. There is a blackbird outside doing the most retarded stuff. I don't know what is going on. Oh my god. What is he doing? Maybe he's waiting for a mate. Oh, yep, sure is. Anyway, I'm sorry guys. I am distracted so easily. I apologize. I love this. It is by Rimmel London. And mind you, it is so super duper cheap. You don't have to spend an expensive amount of this like, on, on any foundation, like, this stuff is amazing. Holy crap, there's, like, 30 blackbirds that just flew down. This is why I shouldn't record in front of a window. <clears throat> Moving right along. Um, the next item I have for you is an item that I thought I was actually going to return to Target when I bought it. But it is the 24-hour Color Stay Color Tattoo Metal in the color Inked in Pink. And it is this gorgeous, gorgeous pink color. And I have been wearing this under my um, Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, which I did not bring out here. And it's because I didn't want my video to be so long. But the Urban Decay Naked 3 is my monthly favorite for the month um, for my palette. I, I gravitate to that thing every single time. I'll pull out every other palette and be like, hey, I'm going to try this out. And then I'm like, nope, I want my Urban Decay 3. But this is the um, inked in pink color. As you can see, like in the light, it looks like a rose pink. And then when it hits the um, actual light, it is this gorgeous shimmer pink. And it makes um, the color burnout and buzz in the Naked 3 palette just look absolutely amazing. It, like it just pops. So I've been wearing this under it every single time. I go for it every time I put the Naked 3 palette on, which is like every single day. Um, but yes, I am still obsessed with my Naked 3 palette. I know my Naked 3 palette was in my favorites like a couple months ago. But I've been trying to try new things, but I just keep going back to my amazing Naked 3 palette. Um, the next item that I have is the Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Black. Glide-on eye pencil. It's in the color black velvet. I'm sorry. I was reading it like the way you should read it. Um, it looks like this. I got this in my Ipsy bag um, <clears throat> for April. And I did have to sharpen it once already. I went through it quite quickly. I will give a swatch of that. It is this top one here. It's very black. Um, 
You know, I wasn't originally going to put this in my favorites, but I have worn this every day since I got my Ipsy bag, which was like the first week of April. And um, I like it, but it is definitely not 24-7. I am wearing it today. As you can see, it's already come off like in the inner part of my corners. And I only put it in my monthly favorites just because I have worn it every single day since I've gotten it. Um... Except for one day, which was like three days ago, I wore my Ulta um, black gel liner because that stuff is my tried and true. It does stay on all day for me and it's waterproof and it doesn't smudge when I touch my eyes. This stuff smudges when I touch my eyes. I don't know why. Like, And it comes off. Like if I just do this, like I have makeup on my finger. See that little black dot? It's just... It's just annoying like I don't know this is really expensive and the Ulta gel liner is only like eight dollars for a stick and that stick lasts me forever. I've had my I've had my first stick of Ulta gel eyeliner for over a year now and I still have it like it's still going and I just recently last month bought a new one to replace that one because it's getting really really short. Next item that I have, I've been wearing, again, the e.l.f. blush in Pink Passion. Um, it just looks like this. It is this gorgeous pink color, and I think it's super, super summery. Sadly, I am not wearing this today or any of the stuff that is in my favorites. This is so sad. I tried a new look out today. Next product that I have is the Physicians Formula Powder Palette Multicolor Custom Bronzer for Brunettes. Um, first off, can we just say, ugh, this packaging amazing I love this packaging it's pink <clears throat> it's gorgeous this is the bronzer that I use um, every single day for my contour and it looks different on my finger but it's definitely like way darker I'm not wearing it today again I tried like a whole everything that is on my face other than my foundation, obviously my eyeliner, mascara, like the eye makeup, the lips, and the cheeks is all by um, Pop Cosmetics. So I tried like a Pop Cosmetics look today and I really do like it, but I think the bronzer was just a little bit too dark for my skin. Um, and I didn't know how much to apply because I didn't know how pig pigmented it was going to be, but you can see right here, it's like, bam! So let's keep my hair covering that so that you guys can't see it. Um, this also opens... Um, up like this and you have a mirror also comes with a brush and you guys I love these because they're so travel travel friendly and if you don't want to wear any makeup you just want to use some bronzer you can just bring this little guy use the brush put it on give you a glow and walk off the next item all right these are all lip products and I'm gonna go through these quite fast because I don't want to spend too much time on them because this is already probably quite a long video oh yeah 18 minutes woohoo um, this is the Nivea Lip Butter in Raspberry Rose Kiss. It's very soothing, like very soft. Um, I don't... <clears throat> I love the smell of it. I can't explain the smell. It just looks like this, though. It's sheer. There's no color to it. Next lip product. I've been using this so, so much because my lips have been so chapped since I've been sick. This is the um, Burt's Bees Hydrating Lip Balm with Coconut and Pear. And this is just clear too. Mmm, hair. I usually put this under um, whatever lip product I'm going to be wearing. Um, this one is like my go-to little guy. This is the Vaseline Lip Therapy. And it's called Rosy Lips. And it comes in the cutest little packaging. This is also sheer. I've used half of the container already. And I love this stuff. And it smells good too. It's I, I can't explain it. It's almost like a tequila rose scent, if you've ever had tequila rose. Um, <clears throat> the next favorite is the Collection Privy by Dutzen. And this is in 600 Dutzen's Nude. And the packaging is so gorgeous, so classy. It's matte, and it's got just gold everything. Um, in the tube, this is really deceiving because it is like this gorgeous, gorgeous Barbie pink. But when you swatch it... I'm not going to lie though, you guys, I love this on my lips. Once I put it on my lips, it just gives me this gorgeous baby pink lip. Um, it is this right here. On my hand, it's a different color probably because 
Um, my hand's a lot whiter than my face because I use self-tanner on my face. And um, you can see it when it's on my lips, the color change. It's just this very gorgeous, soft pink, everyday wearable pink color. And then... Um, the one that has been like my ultimate favorite for the month is um, number 975 Ravishing Rose. This is the Maybelline Color Sensational Limited Edition. Um, why they made this limited edition is beyond me, but it makes me sad because it is gorgeous. It is that color right there. Um, it does not come off that color on my lips. It actually comes off like a really gorgeous pastel pink. It's still darker than this one, obviously, but um, that is the color there. And, you know, I didn't buy this for the longest, longest time just because of the simple fact that I saw it on people's hands and never on people's lips. And on their hands, it looks like this. I mean, I don't know how to explain it. And if you guys watch one of my other videos... Um, and I believe it was in a vlog. The day that I got this, I got out to the car, I opened it up, and I put it on. I was like, oh my god, this shit is amazing. It looks so gorgeous on the, ha on the hand. I don't think it's that good looking. So that's why I never got it. <clears throat> and I regret it. The last item that I have for you in my favorites video, I think this is the last item. These are the Unscented Baby Wipes Soft and Strong Hypoallergenic um, Baby Wipes. Yes. I have not used a makeup remover wipe in over a month now, okay? I hauled these and um, I got a tip from somebody else to use baby wipes on your face to remove makeup. Every makeup wipe that I have ever, tr ever tried on my face, which is probably at least nine different brands or kinds has made my skin so dry, so tight, so like painful. And when I use it, it's so abrasive on my face, which caused breakouts. And um, as you guys can see, I haven't had like a breakout and I don't know how freaking long, which is amazing. And at first I thought it was just like the makeup that I was using, but I'm using like the same makeup in and out, like trying out different combinations, and I still have not gotten a breakout. Um, <clears throat> with that being said, the fact that these are baby wipes, I never thought about it. These are used on baby's asses, okay? If you can use this on a baby's ass and it's not going to break them out, why wouldn't we use this on our face? Like, that makes total sense to use something on a baby's butt on your face because they get, like, rashes and stuff. And, like, these are hypoallergenic, and these make my skin so soft, so soft. I cannot even tell you, like, after I use it, it's like my skin is, like, all moisturized and supple and, like, young, and I'm just like, uh, I need to use 30 more of these. Now, the other thing that I want to point out is there are 120 wipes in here. 120, okay? In the makeup remover wipe containers, you get like freaking 25 tops. And it's still $6 for 25 of them. What was I thinking? This whole package for 120 costed me $1.79. A buck 79 for 120 wipes. I am so mad that I've wasted my money on so many makeup wipes, and then finally I figure out baby wipes. <clears throat> um, I have had these for over a month. I've probably used maybe half of the container, and majority of the time I have to use two of these only because um, they're not super, super wet, so they dry real quick, um, but that's a good thing because... Usually I use one on my entire face to get off like my foundation and my powder and then I use one um, to get off my eye makeup. So it's still not bad. They're the same size as makeup wipes so it's not like they're smaller or bigger or anything. Um, but I just genuinely love these and I haven't had any problems or breakouts or anything since I've been using them. So that is everything in my monthly favorites for the month of April. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like. It'll help me out a lot and I will see you guys next time. Bye!